and welcome to Silverleaf Tarot. We have a new table, a new sacred space um, that's been set up for us for these readings. And today's reading is what is being revealed, released, or refreshed this full wolf moon, which is the first moon of 2024. Now we have three piles for you to choose from. Pile number one, psilocybin. And that is with butterfly wing. Pile number two, rose. And that is with rose quartz heart. Pile number three, dandelion. And that is with Rainbow Feather. So take as much time as you need to, pause the video if you want, to choose your pile or your piles. And then you head down to the description box where you will find timestamps that will take you directly to your reading. And I look forward to seeing you there. Hello, pile number one, and welcome to your reading where we are asking what is being revealed, released, or refreshed this full wolf moon? And you've chosen card number 49, psilocybin commune. So psilocybin is the magic mushrooms. It's the altered state of consciousness, um, chemical molecule um, element within the within the mushroom that creates um, hallucinogenic altered state of consciousness. And we have this beautiful, <laughs> we have a beautiful uh, bu um, butterfly wing butterfly transformation. There's something I see here, an eye. If we could see the whole butterfly, we'd see two eyes. There's something that is being revealed to you, this full wolf moon. Wow, and then we see here, wow, beautiful. Wow, talk about being revealed. Your uh, spirit team is looking down upon you Wow, there's something like you're calling out here. They are gazing fondly upon you with something that you are creating with this beautiful um, starlet here. You are expressing something. Look, we have three, particularly three stars that are coming forth from your trumpet. Your spirit team is gazing fondly upon you. And then we have this joyous <laughs> celebration here. We also have a cow. So there's something very nurturing with commune. Your spirit team is well and truly here with you, pile number one. Well and truly here. Wow, what goodness, star. Beautiful. Oh, I mean, this is dreams coming true. This is make a wish. This is guidance for you to make your wish now. Wow. Make your wish now. Pile number one. Right now. Right now. We're going to go with our dice as well. Mmm, the mind. Oh, you have an idea. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. You have an idea. 
Mm, this idea could well be something <clears throat> that will benefit your community. Yes, Manas. <laughs> For some reason, I just thought, imagine if, imagine if I pick up the rune cards and we get Manas. Um, this is society. This is your community. This is awareness. This is light worker energy. The meerkats work together to keep each other informed of any uh, danger. Um, we've got succulents down here as well. Mm -hmm. Highly protected with algaes. Mm. We've got the succulents, which is resilience. Wow, I mean, okay, you have been or you are a highly resilient, highly resourceful leader is coming through. You are the leader. You are the light worker leader within your community, within your family, within your friendship group. And in a true commune, everyone has leadership uh, qualities and can bring leadership to the table to the group in the ways in which they are blessed their gifts their talents their abilities with our brain here our mind beautiful wow you <laughs> you have a dream wow you have a dream that you see very clearly pile number one and you are leading you're leading the way. You're leading the way. You're leading the way to transformation. Thinking about also at this time, Pluto going into Aquarius. This is a huge shift in, um, in our world soul of which we are a part. A huge shift. Very much into uh, free thinking, innovation, brilliant ideas, um, technological advancements. I'm going to do a reading about Pluto and Aquarius, but that energy is here with this, with this full moon. Very much so. You're being called to lead. Again, the I, the I, you are being seen, you are being noticed, and this is by your spirit team, this is by Archangel Metatron, all of the Archangels see you, your spirit team, your ancestors, with LGs, here, looking straight at you, we see you, we see your leadership potential, we have little mushrooms growing here, out of the stump. So again with the stump and then this resilience here, perhaps you've felt um, cut back, taken down, you know, a lack of water, a lack of refreshment. Perhaps life has been hard going at times, perhaps recently. And this is a call to action, a call to follow your brilliant ideas. Pile number one. We're going to get another one. Is it that one? Oh, you're not alone with Awas. Um, this is loyalty. Um, this is movement. This is teamwork. Teamwork coming up with commune. You are part of a team of light workers that is helping to transform our world, to bring this new awareness with the eyes. You're making the call. You are creating, offering, um, doing, being, you're, you're creating something that is a call to others, that gathers people around you. These two, both very community focused, very much about togetherness with commune. Some, what is being revealed to you, pile number one, is your leadership potential. This is all about you stepping into your leadership role within your community. Forgive, full moon in Pisces. Attend to the details. Interesting. I wonder if we can fit that there. Yes. If you have... Mm, <laughs> if you have an idea... Here we go. Oh, yes, it's juicy. <laughs> Your idea is very juicy. And I mean, two, two leaves. This is, and a ripe strawberry. This idea is 
is ripe for growth now. You're being called to take action now to make to make this happen, use your mind, attend to the details, last quarter moon in Virgo. Attend to the details. There's something about forgiveness here or perhaps going with the flow. Oh, love, beautiful. You will be doing something that you absolutely love and that others. This is bringing love energy to your world. This idea, this dream that you have, and it's about building community. It's about um, people working together. It's about you um, in a leadership role with others in their leadership roles. This is a very, um, very much a Pluto and Aquarius um, energy. It's not about one per the hierarchy of one person being in control over others. This is about working together and bringing what you have to offer. This is all about bringing what you have to offer. And you may need to forgive yourself in some way. Oh, we've got quite a few here. Letting go. Yes, perhaps you need to move on with Airwise from a, an outdated situation that was harmful or was simply limiting you. And you need to forgive yourself for letting that go, pile number one. Forgive yourself because you you are helping to move all of us, all of humanity, Mother Earth, into a new frequency of love. You're moving towards what you love, what you've left behind. If you have left something behind, a, a person, place or thing, job, situation, it's because you needed to grow and you need to forgive yourself. Pile number one, you need to forgive yourself for let, for needing to move on. It was simply time. It was time to go. It's time to move on. If you're alert here with our um, meerkat to this new opportunity that has um, come into your radar, <laughs> come into your sphere of thinking again, you know, the mind and this beautiful pentacle with the antlers. So this is your antenna, your, your, your mind, your antenna, this uh, fork in the road. You could well have reached a fork in the road and you need to make the choice about whether you transform your life and move forwards, let go of the past, move towards your leadership potential, your ability to offer something truly unique and beautiful and filled with love to your community, to the world around you. You're at the fork in the road right now, absolutely. So you are releasing as well. You're being called to release outdated situations and this is also this attend to the details this one too patience take your time there's no rush to do this there's no rush it's a process filled with growth and opportunity and healing absolutely absolutely beautiful Beautiful healing opportunity for you. And then this one down the bottom here, I don't know if you could see, wanted to come out. Purity, the unicorn energy is here for you. Oh, pure, pure love here. I mean, look at this. Oh, and this one wants to come too. Grace. Wise woman of the grove. Check you out. Check you out. Pile number one. You are the wise woman of the grove. Whatever uh, gender you identify with, you are this wise being. In amongst the, the wisdom of the trees, trees communicate. Trees communicate over long distances. And there's this gift here. Can you see? <laughs> there's this gift here. And this is the star. This is your dream or it will be that you are being called to dream a new dream now. You're being called to step up. 
You are being called to step up into leadership. This is self-sovereignty. So this is leadership of your own life, trusting your own wisdom and trusting your purity as well. This pure healing spirit here, bear spirit unicorn. Purity healing. You have been through the, the hard work of the healing. You've been resilient. You've found growth through loss. You have great wisdom to offer others. This is it. And this is the same energy here. Both of these figures are offering what they've learnt, what they've created, what they've manifested, the wisdom that they have gained. And there's a very, um, you know, star card in the tarot energy here. It is healing. It is pure. I mean, this is very high frequency. You've got love and purity here. What you have to offer, pile number one, what you have to offer your community is, is of the highest frequency in human terms. Highest frequency. Go for it with Awas. Release the past. Release yourself from the past. Pile number one. It's time, it's time to assess. Attend to the details. It's time to assess. Retreat. Yes, this goes along with patience. You don't have to do this in a big... Um, you know, blustery moment. This can be a, a um, gentle transformation. But the thing is to really know what it is that you want to create, what it is that you want to offer others. This is the, this is the key to this message. What you have, <laughs> this is it. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. Thank you to the ancestors that are coming through. Thank you to the spirit team of pile number one. This is so beautiful. What you, this beautiful, oh my gosh, and I just was uh, shuffling the tarot cards ready to pull some and what's on the bottom, the star, of course. Yes, and the star energy and see the likeness here. So you, what is being revealed to you at the time of this full wolf moon? Pile number one is this gem, this treasure, this beautiful, unique aspect of you, pure, pure healing spirit that you have to offer and you're actually being called with our trumpet here you're being called by your spirit team to offer this now to attend to those details and to make this happen to offer this to your community and what you will find is that this will draw to you like-minded people people who see the world in similar ways who feel about um, human community and what our potential is to work together as a team to look out for each other to care about each other you're going to be drawing these people towards you once you offer this gift to the world this is extremely beautiful what you have to offer if you're not sure about it yet I would um, go into an altar state of consciousness in some way shape or form that works for you um, shamanic journeying um, asking is very powerful if we actually um, take the time to kind of meditate come into that place of stillness with this retreat patience healing this very still very still energy and ask Ask your spirit team to show you, to reveal to you, because they are here. They're here real strong, pile number one. Your ancestors are here, a particular ancestor, very powerful. A very powerful healer is coming through. This is one of your ancestors. Yeah, coming through very strongly. You, you are a powerful healer. You are a powerful healer with this pure love healing frequency here. Wow. Pile number one. 
You are being offered your true calling at this time. Take the time to retreat into stillness. Ask your spirit team. Your antenna is is high, it's peaking at this time of the full moon. Your antenna, your spiritual antenna, your intuition, your instincts is very on point with our pointed um, pentacle and this crossroads. You're being called to make a move into a new direction. And this could be simply um, fleshing out, filling out something that you've already started, or it could be a whole new um direction but you have it this time this is your ancestor coming through now wow ancestor from the stars for some of you ancestor from the earthly realm for others with psilocybin very um very forest orientated but then we also have star beings so Call to your ancestor that has come through in this reading. Pile number one, take the time. Go into your altered state of consciousness in whatever way works for you. And ask them. Because you are highly receptive at this time. Look at you. (laughs) You're going to be like, oh, that's it. That's it. I'm going to release my past with love. And I'm going to, even if it takes time, I'm going to make this move. I'm going to shift my direction towards this North Star. This um, true understanding of your purpose, of what you have to offer. This is, it's all about what you have to offer others. And then you being in the limelight with the Star Star. You know, this is you being seen, you being an integral part of this greater community of love frequency, healing love frequency that is coming in to planet earth at this time. You're a leader, you're a leader in your field, pile number one. You're being called to step up and lead and you will find others that are leading in their fe- in their fields, in their aspects of this beautiful ascension process of Mother Earth. You have something very special to offer. Pile number one, this is your message. We're going to leave it here because it's time for you to forgive and release and let go of your past, any situations that, that weren't helping you to grow. Forgive yourself for leaving those. Forgive yourself and allow yourself to let go as autumn lets go of its leaves. Allow yourself because you are on a pathway of growth and um, ascension. But this is like you ascending into your purpose, ascending into your place of leadership, ascending into a place where you know what you have to offer and you offer it. And this is pure love healing frequency is what you are going to, is the transmission that you are going to be transmitting to everyone from doing this. And it will be unique to all of you, star, star, star. But this, yeah, this thing that that you love to do and that feels like a pure healing energy, star healing. You are a healer. You are a healer. And what you have to offer, pile number one, heals others. Call upon this ancestor because they have keys and codes and um, wisdom to offer you about how you can grow this healing capacity, how you can offer it to the world in what way, shape or form. They really want to communicate with you here. I'm being called to get some more cards and then we're going to close. The tower is interesting because the tower wanted to, um, was just behind the star before in the hermit. Again, this retreat energy retreat energy and this is the tower is coming through as confirmation of what came through before of that you've you've had to be highly resilient you've had to grow mushrooms from a stump of wood in the forest you've you've had to really gather your inner resources to make it through tough situations and now it's time to move forward 
into a state of being that is about growth, abundance, friendship, wholeness, community, creativity, and offering what you have to offer to others. And this is going to transform your life, Butterfly Wing. Again, that eye, it's like I see you, pile number one. I see you, pile number one. I see what you have to offer. Come to me in an altered state of consciousness. This is your ancestor. Come to me as the hermit to find your starlight, to find what this treasure is, what this golden gift is that you have to offer the world. It's time to let this go. Let it go. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. Just let it go. It wasn't meant to be, pile number one. It wasn't meant to be. Take your time. Go within. Communicate with your spirit team, with your ancestor in particular, either from the stars or from the earthly realm. Go into the space of retreat and it will be revealed to you. Wow, you have something very precious to offer us all. Pile number one, thank you so very much for being here with me for this reading. I love having you all here and if this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading. Hello, pile number two, and welcome to your reading. Uh, I was called to the Astro Alignment deck um, to, to shuffle them ready for your reading, and these ones all came out, and we will, we will get to those. Hmm, maybe I'll put that here. First and second house, interesting. Hmm, okay. <laughs> but we'll start with your initial card. And um, honestly, I, I sort of, I could believe it, obviously, but what are the chances? I chose the symbols. I had the symbols arranged uh, prior to pulling, um, to pulling the pick a card cards. And when I turned over this one, I just couldn't believe the synchronicities. We have a rose quartz heart. Rose quartz is the crystal of, of the heart, of love. It is love, pure, gentle, gorgeous love. And then your card was number 12, rose love. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. And then what's popped out, which is so interesting that you got um, Aquarius and Capricorn, because at the time of this reading, uh, Pluto has entered Aquarius from Capricorn, which uh, makes me think that perhaps, oh, and I didn't introduce the um, theme, but that there is something that you are releasing at this time. So our title for this reading, what we're asking for, is what is being revealed, released or refreshed. This full wolf moon and you having Capricorn and Aquarius, Pluto making this massive, massive movement that will be with us for 20 years. This is a life changing era. This is a movement of the underlying undercurrent of, of our world. So you're definitely being called to release something, or you are releasing something. First house, self-body presence, Aries. Second house, finances, value, possessions, Taurus, Aquarius, and then Juno, marriage, commitment, bonds. So again, we've got a third, a third um, message, all about, all about love all about love for you and so interesting because I was being called to put interesting the rose quartz heart on the full moon oh yes well love is incoming for a start <laughs> for a start wow a really pure high vibrational high frequency love is incoming for um <laughs> this here and this full moon. That was why I was being called to place the rose quartz heart on the full moon so that I would notice and make that link. If, if you are looking for love, now is the time. 
there is something very very magical afoot there's um, um, spiritual intervention divine intervention going on interesting we're going to keep that there wow <laughs> spirit um, divine beings are, are working around you to create this this union this meeting love love is incoming a highly uh, high frequency pure love is is coming in this full moon wow I mean the the waters how the the waves it's like the energy around you is is creating this opportunity for you if you are looking if you are looking for love this is also an opportunity to deepen with the blood here the, I'm getting blood oath marriage commitment bonds wow Perhaps there is a marriage proposal or a um, someone you know that you love that you're with saying to you you know I want us to live together or I want us to travel together or I'd like us to commit commit to each other um, yeah there's a movement here there's a this is incoming and this is huge this is huge and it will change it will change you with uh, first house self body presence second house finances value possessions and this also goes to that moving in with someone energy and that energy is incoming with the waves of this Aquarius and also this is happening now and if you've come to this reading at a different time the messages are timeless. You're you're being attracted to a certain energy uh, frequency within each reading that you choose to go into. This is like a now, now, now because um, you know with Pluto leaving Capricorn and moving into Aquarius just a few days ago, and this full moon that is uh, tomorrow when I'm doing this reading. This is now. Like this is this is happening now. This meeting or this um, renewed sense of commitment so there's this there's a marriage proposal there's a um, proposal to move in together it's something huge because it changes you self body presence it changes you it changes you it changes the way you live with finances, value, possessions. And I got that wanting to travel together or wanting to move overseas together. This is a I got you energy between you and your person. This person that's incoming, imminent. This person is coming in like right now. Or this, um, this proposal, this offer of commitment of forming a really strong union. This is like a blood oath. This is really, really strong. This could be with a best friend. This could well be. Purification. Pine spirit. Interesting. Mm. Oh, we've been called to the tarot cards already. Purification. Well, this is the uh, releasing. Because you're in this pivotal moment, I mean, going from the first house to the second, going from Capricorn to Aquarius, this marriage commitment bonds, this ah, this purifying sea, these purifying wa purifying waves. Yeah, get more information about that. Eight of Cups. Yeah, leaving leaving the past behind. Moving on. Well, the Eight of Cups is about leaving something behind this is true but the eight of cups really is about this person seeing their nine of cups that's the wish fulfillment that's what they truly love what they truly desire and them choosing to leave the situation structure of their life their self body presence first house to leave what they've created, who they've become, not to leave it behind in the dust to wither away, but to in order to move forward into the next step, into the next chapter, following their, their heart, follow, with the cups, following their desire for 
for their deepest, truest desires to cut, to manifest. They're willing to move on from who they've become so that they can become anew, so they can refresh themselves, so they can purify and refresh. Wow. This is you going in a whole new direction that is life-changing. Life-changing at this time. And it's centered in love, and this could well be self-love with the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is the spiritual pilgrim. The Eight of Cups is choosing... Oh, we want that one. Choosing to go... Oh, that one too. Getting the colors. Hammock. Taking a vacation physically or mentally. Mm, taking time to reflect. Interesting fire. Strong emotion, passionate love or hate. I mean, yeah. What have we got here? Wealth. This is this Eight of Cups going towards your new sense of wealth in November. Mm, the, the ice is thawing. The snow is melting. Ooh, with this one too. Interesting. Bow. I just picked this up and a couple of cards were left on the table. You are highly thought of. Yes, you are. And dolphin. Financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. And the next one wants... Oh, this one wants to come through. Wreath. Sorrow over a loss. This is about leaving, leaving the past behind. And arrow. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. This is exactly it. Oh my gosh, and this one wants to come through too. Broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Goodness. Yeah, you are moving on. Boy, are you <laughs> moving on. There's so many that want to come out for you. Pile number two. Wedge. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend. Or something that you want. Interesting. Spare heartache over what you no longer have. Yes, this is going along with this broken bridge. Hmm. And then there is a bridge underneath. Successfully overcoming a problem. I'm going to put this here. Broken bridge bridge. That's so interesting because when I was um, getting... How did that happen? Oh yes, I was um, bringing the tea leaves to the table and I was shuffling them and it was so interesting because broken wishbone, a wish didn't come true, I flipped out, flung out and then I was shuffling again and then wishbone, a wish coming true, flew out and I just thought that was amazing and that I wondered if within the readings there was going to be this message. And here it is with Broken Bridge and Bridge. Something that didn't work out. Mm. Five of Pentacles. Wow. There's something highly significant that didn't work out. This could be the end of a marriage. Wreath and marriage commitment bonds. And you having to move on from what you created with the Eight of Cups here. I'm going to move that just so you can see better. Mm. You've, oof, yeah, two of pentacles, ooh, options coming in. Something, something didn't work out, and something that you created. So the Eight of Cups, again, it's not about necessarily leaving something terrible. It's more about choosing a new direction, choosing to leave the past behind because there's something better. But here with all of this broken bridge wreath, Spare, heartache over what you no longer have. Energy. Yeah. There's the sense that um, something dear to you didn't work out, so this could well be a broken marriage. This could be a loss, a physical loss. And then you have to, you know, you have to purify, you have to go through the purification process of grief in order to see this new direction, to thaw out. You've been in this state of on ice, in the cold. Mm, 
Five of Pentacles in the cold. Bring that here. You've been out in the cold through the end of a relationship, the loss of a job, the loss of a loved one. Something that didn't work out. Oh, strawberry. Mm, oh, yes, something that you really wanted that didn't work out. Perhaps it was a relationship that you thought was the one, was the marriage, the commitment, the bonds. And this is this pivotal moment that you're in. Again, with this right now. But there is love coming in. There is something that you will love coming in. Successfully overcoming a problem. The broken bridge becomes the bridge. You choose a new direction. Pile number two. You choose a new direction. You, you've been through or you're going through this grieving process. And it's very important to allow that time on ice to occur. There's no rush to do your Eight of Cups and make that move with the arrow. There's no rush, but there's this pivotal moment as well occurring over here. We've got something's on fire. The dolphin's coming in with financial gain. The wealth is here. The hammock is here. There's some very good energies here. Very good, which is actually bringing me to the Two of Pentacles. Perhaps you're kind of experiencing both. At the same time, we've got this infinity and we've got the bow. <sighs> this is it. This is the energy. It's that whole as one door closes, another door opens energy. This is the energy that you're in. This is a pivotal moment for you with our rose quartz heart on the full moon. This is now. This is happening now. What once was lost now is found. This is moving out of being in the in that cold era, that cold season of processing grief, processing loss. Loss of a, um, a dream, a desire, a wedge. So something has happened that has created a wedge between your old life and your new life. You've sort of been forced with the wedge. Hmm. Fall on the bottom of the deck. You've sort of been forced by circumstances <clears throat> to move ahead, to move anew, to move afresh. And this is this, what is being refreshed. There's a lot of releasing occurring here. In the now, releasing past heartbreaks. Um, yeah, it's that past disappointment, that past feeling of, of loss. There's you're releasing that now with our Aquarius wavy energy so that you can embark on this new journey. And there's this bow you're highly thought of. Oh, <laughs> and to get the Six of Wands with that. <laughs> it's like, what is this? You're amazing. That's what this is. You are seen as the Six of Wands, as someone to cheer for, as someone just benevolent, as someone just radiant. You, you bring joy. You bring joy to others. You're, you're exceptionally skilled in what you do. I mean, check you out. Strong emotion, passionate love or hate. I mean, love is here. You are seen as the Six of Wands. So maybe this, what happened here, and we'll get to our strawberry. I'm thinking this is the bow. Because <laughs> this is something ripe for the picking. Something very juicy, something very nourishing, but also delicious and sweet. Again, I'm, I know it's an apple here, but it really, it just, is it an apple or is it a pomegranate? I'm not sure, but either way, these two signify the same thing again. What, something that didn't work out, perhaps you were passed over for the promotion, the relationship didn't work out, the job didn't work out, the, the move overseas didn't work out, something of this kind, what didn't work, the broken bridge, what didn't work out is going to work out for you in a really beautiful way and linking the bridge to the fact that the Eight of Cups figure is moving on 
in order to achieve their Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment. This is getting exactly what they want. So there's the releasing here, the releasing of this energy, so that you can create space with Aquarius, air energy, create space for this new wealth to come in. Potentially two opportunities. The bow, you are highly thought of. Two of pentacles, no, it's you releasing the past in order to move into the new with the full. What's this one? <sighs> Nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles is also wish fulfillment um, because it's creating a, the life of your dreams is the nine of pentacles. This is um, self-satisfied, self-nourishing, self-nurturance, self, 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 taking a vacation physically or mentally. This is self-love, self-love, absolutely. However, this whole um, broken wishbone, wishbone, broken bridge, bridge um, symbolism <clears throat> is letting you know that if you did lose out, in love with the Five of Pentacles, if you felt like you were left out in the cold, you were ghosted, um, as someone that you thought was, was a future partner, a future marriage partner, a committed relationship left you, this could be a friend, perhaps um, a long time friend, something occurred that broke that friendship, what you're being shown is that now is the time where it's the flipping of the coin, where the turning of the wheel, where what didn't work out is going to be refreshed in your life. It's going to be, you purify this energy and it will flip the coin. It will flip the coin. One, one door closing, another opens. Allow that door to close, pile number two. Because in doing so, you're then... You know, it's bringing balance to the universe. It's bringing balance to your life. We're within this new coin, this new door, this new love offer, this new offer of commitment, this new job offer, um, this opportunity to create wealth, something that you're passionate about over here. Six of wands in the fire. This is passionate energy. I mean, and our fool is thrilled to be leaping off that ledge. Financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past with Nine of Pentacles. Hammock, take it easy at this time. You've been through the ringer, is what's coming through, pile number two. You've been through the ringer. Think highly of yourself at this time. You are going to move towards your Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. This is what is occurring right now. This is the message. It's all about releasing this energy here. One more. Eight of Pentacles. You do you. You can create afresh. You can create anew. Eight of Pentacles to Nine of Pentacles. This is it here. Actually, I might put those here. Oh, I can't fit. Yeah. You've got, you've got stuff to work with. You can do this that here. Yes, life has transformed. You've, you've suffered some kind of loss, but you got this. You got this, pile number two. Oh, this strawberry wants to really come through here. Like, you got this. Whatever that was, it wasn't right for you because the, the new bridge, the new way forward, the new direction the new uh, potion, the new manifestation that will bring you acclaim, that will bring you wealth, that will bring you love, warmth, passion, financial stability, enough um, financial stability to be having vacations, to be having a beautiful time, going into that self-care, self-love being set up for life, finances, value, possessions, nine of pentacles. You got this. You're here now, I feel. You're here now. You're in the transition. So take take the time to do to do that. Pile number two. 
Take your time to purify through through grief, grieving the loss of. It's an honourable emotion. It's not a negative emotion. It's not a bad emotion. It's, it's healthy to grieve the loss of something that was very dear to you. It's healthy. And allow yourself to do that. But with our November and the snow melting, shows us that you're in this transition point right now with the full moon, with Pluto entering Aquarius. Right now, whenever you come to this reading, pile number two, you're in this transition where you're now able to make the move forward. The energetic purification of grieving has, has been done. You've gone through it, you've successfully gone through it, and now it's time to look at what you've got with Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, choose what to leave behind and choose what to work with, close the door energetically on, on what no longer serves you, so that this new door can open, this new something that you will love will come and think very, very dearly of yourself and take this leap. This is all about you. You loving you and allowing these new doors to open for you. Allowing yourself to make this bold move to be the seeker, to be the spiritual pilgrim, to open the doors again to receive what you deserve which, you know, is love, wealth, passion, creativity, um, being comfortable, being financially set, going on adventures. This is going on vacations. You've got a whole new lease of life at this time. Pile number two. This is your message. <laughs> Pile number two about what is being revealed released or refreshed in your life at this time of the full wolf moon all the best to you on this wow powerfully abundant new it's a turn of events that may well have hurt but it's leading you towards your your true purpose where you're truly living this vibrant fire six of wands energy where you're truly getting creating the life of your desires here it's time to leave the past behind to close the door on that energy allow the snow to melt and make this bold move forward open the doors again because such beautiful good things are coming to you as you close one door, at least one other door <laughs> that you really want um, is going to open for you. This is your message today, pile number two. Thank you so very much for being here with me for this reading. I love having you here. And if you have resonated with this reading, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading. Hello, pile number three, and welcome to your reading, where we are asking what is being revealed, released, or refreshed, this full wolf moon, and there's just so much in your card and symbol, just energetically, um, even without attempting to articulate the energies coming through, but I felt it very strongly when I um, introduced your pile. You've got 53, Dandelion, Wounded Healer. You have Chiron, the Wounded Healer. I've been so um, visually attracted to this shape. I have no idea what it is. If you know, please write it in the comments. We would love to know. But also when I introduced your card and symbol, just seeing the link of the rainbow. Well, and we get that rainbow after the storm energy. Coming through very strongly actually. Release your blocks. Yeah. First quarter moon in Scorpio. We've got the flower of life. We've got dandelion. You know, we blow on the dandelion, make a wish, and we blow on. This is all about healing, I feel. 
Focus on the positive. New Moon and Sagittarius. Release your blocks. Focus on the positive. Was it that one? Not sure. Reflect on your priorities. <laughs> priorities. This card, Aquarius, this card was coming up so much last year. It was just in almost every reading. <laughs> Take inspired action and keep your heart open. Okay. Ooh. Focus on the positive. Take inspired action. Keep your heart open. Okay. Full moon. Mm, let's see. Oh, oh, okay. Ooh, wow, golden Buddha. There's some really deep, deep spiritual healing, deep uh, spiritual revelation coming in. We have past, present, future here. I'm also getting a child coming through with the uh, mother, father and the child with our three. Sorry, not showing you. But it's our little ring again with the mother, father, child. Um, you know, however you identify, it's simply the two coming together to create the child. I'm not sure why that's coming through. Apart from with take inspired action. Yes, and it was pointing that way before. Yeah, keep your heart open, focus on the positive, focus on what you love, what you love to do, what you want to do. Oh, this is high-powered setting intentions energy here. And our soul belief. Beautiful um, curls here. Sorry, I've got a new setup, so I'm not quite used to where the camera is. But um, here in New Zealand, Aotearoa, we've got um, the, the fern, the unfolding fern. Um, the kodu, because it is uh, the spiral, the unfolding, and we see that with this leaf. There's something, oh yes, got more symbols. There's something unfolding for you, a new opportunity, well, for growth. Ooh, ginkgo leaf, peace, perfect match. Oh, there's, okay, okay. Here we go. The wounded healer card. There's some sort of spiritual healing within the next few months. Oh, there's some deep healing going on here. Rainbow after the storm. And within the next few weeks, so soon, <laughs> we, we can take that as very soon. Listen to your intuition. Oh. Oh, okay. You're, yeah, you're definitely being guided towards helpful people. Your guides are here. Your guides are here. And this one wants to come through and the next one. And not the right time. Add a little um, spanner in the works. Improving health. Okay. Ooh. And this one too. Ask for help from others. So this is your spirit team saying, we want to help you. We want to help you. Please call on us and ask us to help you. On the bottom is forgiveness. Hmm. Focus on the positive, keep your heart open. Forgiveness here, yeah. take inspired action. Hmm. Hmm. Healing improving health. Something something that before wasn't the right time is improving in your life now. There's definitely this call to focus on the new, to listen to your intuition. We've got the Buddha here coming into a space of meditative contemplation Allowing your intuition to come through. There's a very multifaceted energy here as well with our multi-pointed star and our multi-coloured rainbow. This is a message as well. Feather is a message coming in. <clears throat> intuition. You're being guided. 
Helpful people ask for help from others. Your guides, your spirit team, are trying to uh, connect with you and to guide you towards this thing. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Rose, romance is in the air. Within to this um, event, meeting, that's going to happen very soon, within the next few weeks, within the next few months. Oh my goodness. Ring, a marriage will take place either romantic or business. Ooh, okay. Okay. <laughs> well, this was what um, we were asking for with the tea leaves, a bit more clarity about what is this thing that's improving that wasn't the right time before. So this could well be a uh, romantic partnership. Perhaps you met someone and then it, it didn't quite work out or it just wasn't the right time. Um, you're both going in different directions, um, both doing your own thing over here with our figures, solo, out in nature, both doing your own thing. And it just wasn't the time then, it wasn't the right time then for this, I mean, for you to get both of those uh, tea leaves, romance is in the air and a marriage will take place either romantic or business. I mean, this is a committed partnership. Within the next few weeks or within the next few months, there is some kind of uniting between you and another person or you and other people. Yes, there's definitely this message here for some of you that this romantic partnership, it just wasn't the right time before. Something that didn't work out and I'm getting that you were both focusing on your own lives. So it wasn't, um, yeah, you were following your own dreams here, take inspired action. We see the rainbow here again. So this is that rainbow after the storm energy. Make a wish. And our ginkgo leaf, which I always see is that match made in heaven, the perfect mirrors. Mm, and we have our Buddha with the root system here. So this has been a time of learning, a time of reflection with listen to your intuition. A time of actually asking for help from your spirit team, from your guides. Because they're all here. I and mean, we've got these two cards and these two, you know? <laughs> You also got forgiveness, vine. Seek out information that will help you. This is giving to me that it was just something that, that needed to take its time. It had a certain, so this could be a job that you were going for. It could be a business that you were wanting to start or you were wanting to commit um, more finances to it. Perhaps you were at the bank and you wanted you know, to put a ring on it. You wanted to get the finances. Um, secured so that you could move it forward. Something wasn't the right time and it was simply that it, it wasn't the right time. It was a matter of divine timing. Um, it didn't quite work out. Perhaps you were told that now wasn't the right time to get that finance. Um, perhaps there was this um, space of time within your relationship that you were both focusing on your own inspired actions, you were focusing on yourselves, focusing on your own businesses, and it wasn't, it just wasn't quite the right time then, but now is the time. <laughs> File number three, within the next few weeks, within the next few months, so weeks to months, the vine is going to grow the um, divine timing, the moment of the coming together with this helpful people card, this coming together, this committing to each other. Wow. <laughs> so this is, this is, um, you know, you going to a different bank within the next few weeks or the next few months and, and with them, you're securing the loan to um, start your business or increase your business. Or this is again, weeks or months, that commitment to each other within a romantic partnership coming to fruition, then it could also have to do with many other people. Perhaps it's a blended family situation with the helpful people. That's all about people coming together here. 
So maybe you wanted to start a business with friends, a, a cafe or a community space or something like that. And, um, you know, the place that you were looking for, it just wasn't there. You needed, you know, something, the right um, situation for your business. And then within the next few weeks and months, it, it comes to fruition. The commitment is made. And this has been a time of the reflecting on your priorities. And interesting that I got the child there. And this is, again, the question, what is being revealed, released, or refreshed? This, whatever this is, is being refreshed, whether it's the romantic partnership, whether it's um, the, the business growth or the business partnership or partnerships, if you're going in with a group, um, this whole birth of the child thing, this birth of the committed relationship, the birth of the business, the birth of um, the expansion of your business. Um, what actually occurred, it just wasn't the right time before, but it is now, <laughs> it is now to get those two timing cards, um, which is, you know, this is soon. It gave you a chance to reflect on your personal priorities and release these blocks. This is what this um, timing was about, this flower of life, the patterning of when this wish came true with our dandelion blowing on the dandelion seed pod um, to make your wish. Yes, yes, there were blocks that needed to be released. Maybe they were financial blocks, maybe it was a fear of success, maybe it was uh, a fear of relationship, a fear of commitment. And this is this vine energy and the improving health here. And we have our uh, sort of kundalini snake energy over here with the rainbow again, leading to the ace of cups over here. It just, there needed to be time and flower of life with all these other people as well. <sighs> Yeah, <laughs> the koru, the unfolding fern here. You know, uh, places, events, people, things with our flower of life. The pattern had to grow for the moment to be right, for you to find that perfect uh, premises, for you to find that perfect um, financial investor, for you to um, create or find this committed partnership here. Just saw 1414 on um, the timer. I'm not sure what that, what that number means, but four is stability. Four of wands is reaching, you know, the mar having the marriage and moving through that portal into the next era of life. And one is the beginning. One is the self with the Buddha, so the self that is connected to all with the flower of life. 1414, if anyone knows what that um, number sequence means, let us know in the comments, please. But I feel like something's coming together here with our ginkgo leaf, the perfect mirror. There was, yeah, this multifaceted, um, colorful feather. And this multifaceted start was actually <laughs> your spirit team has been working with the energies around you. The universe, it's more like the universal patterning had, it needed time with the vine. Pile number three, it needed time to create the perfect circumstances for this to happen now. This is beautiful. This is a birth of the child, what, whatever that is, the creation. You needed time to release these blocks. And again, with that blowing on the dandelion, the seeds, yes, you're making a wish, but also that breath out, that blowing away, that releasing, releasing of what no longer served you, that kept you maybe in the rain, and now you're emerging into our rainbow. And this is a rainbow of awareness as well here with the feather that messages from your spirit guides, from your higher self, messages from your higher self with the Buddha, that stillness, that self-integration, the grounding with the root system here, the taking the time 
to reflect and you just do you like you know if um, if you didn't secure that loan it gave you this time to notice what your blocks were and blow them away and also ground yourself settle yourself into what's important for you <laughs> and then we move on over here to this take inspired action with the full moon focusing on the positive keeping your heart open and forgiveness so over here i'm seeing this with perhaps this relationship situation that didn't work out business partnership uh, community group something that it just wasn't the right time for it then it's very important it's coming through it's very important poll number three for you to forgive that situation that didn't work out and to keep your heart open because you know when we've lost out on something maybe you thought that you found the perfect the perfect place for your business the perfect premises <laughs> three of cups celebration and and it didn't come through yes oh, here we go well this is perfect over here exactly what we're talking about you know it, and it didn't work out you didn't um, secure the lease for example and it may have left left you in this nine of wands wounded warrior wounded healer the wounded warrior energy where you know you've been working really hard at this business idea and then the you know the banks that you went to said no we can't give you the loan and and you're sort of stuck in this like you've still you're reaching the end of your energy you've got to really be resilient and keep going keep trying and it's a defensive energy this is the energy here that needs to be uh, tended to over here with our three of cups keep your heart open and forgive so this is about releasing this energy of being like oh i've got to um i've got to get this done i've got to get that done that didn't work out and you know but i really wanted it to that sort of energy of this not the right time may have left you in a sense of um defensive fear like maybe it won't ever work out like maybe this relationship um, you went your separate ways because you had different plans and that worry that fear of that oh you know it wasn't meant to be at all whereas really it was just not the right time you had other you know you had your own things to focus on at that time or you know it wasn't the right premises it wasn't the right bank to be um you know committed to with our ring in terms of with the loan so there's some divine intervention divine guidance that's been going on around you this vine this energy the flower of life around you and it just wasn't the right time so if you can move into this energy of gratefulness of thankfulness for what you do have with the three of cups i mean this is also celebration i mean our grapes you know they're drinking they're laughing they're celebrating so this is key here the keep your heart open forgive just bring in that forgiveness energy about what wasn't the right time it was like it was okay it's okay that it didn't work out when i thought it should because um the universe with our flower of life the universe has been working very hard in the background to create the perfect pattern the perfect pattern for your wish to come true and rather than sort of battling with unforgiveness and feeling stagnant or stuck or it's not or worry and fear it's this opportunity to release your blocks to get still to get grounded to refocus on what your priorities are on what is the purpose of what you're doing you know that that energy the energy of love that energy of community support that energy of abundance that energy of health and vibrant living you know the energy of what you want to share with the world refocusing the energy into this three of cups of like this is beautiful celebratory energy we're getting this one too on six of cups i mean dream come true 
is what I'm getting with this Six of Cups. With our dandelion, you know, it's such a childhood, um, it's such a childhood thing. Oh, the moon, yeah. And that's this energy here, that, that worry, that fear of that because it didn't happen then, that maybe it will never happen. You're being, you're being guided to trust and look at the gift. Look at the celebration. You will, you will get what you need. The Six of Cups. You will get what you need. Reflect on your priorities. What you need for your business growth, for your business partnership, for your relationship. And this is also children here again without having a child. So if you've been trying to have a child, this is a good sign that within the next few weeks or months that that, that could happen for you. We got the child here, and here is the child with the Six of Cups, a childhood. This could be a, yeah, a childhood dream of finding, you know, your soulmate, of creating, you know, a place where everyone felt welcome, a highly creative place, you know, highly creative business, you know, whatever. It's very um, dear to you. It's very dear to you, and I am getting that this is going. This wish is going to come true with the Six of Cups. It's a gift. The Six of Cups is someone gifting to another. This is a gift. You will receive what you need. Pile number three. And the guidance is to release the fear that it won't happen. It just wasn't the right time then. You know, it wasn't the right person, it wasn't the right um, contract, it just wasn't the right thing. But the universe has heard your wish, has heard your dream, and it is coming true. Just keep your heart open, keep in a space of gratitude and love for yourself and what you're doing and your friends and your family and just all the good things that are already around you. Forgive that situation for not working out at that time um, because it just wasn't it wasn't the right. Oh, we got six of pentacles on the on the bottom of the deck as well. So yeah, absolutely, you will receive. You will receive what you need. So release this fear um, blockage here. Now that my hand's doing this and we had release your blocks here, your fear and worry about that it hadn't happened when you thought it would is a blockage that needs to be cleared so that you can move into this beautiful energy of celebration. I mean, gift, gift, and joyous celebration. Receiving what you need, receiving your desire, our ginkgo leaf, receiving what you wished for, the perfect match, receiving the gift from your spirit team here, helpful people ask for help from others, but this could be other people as well, this could be the bank, this could be um, a family member that wants to invest, this, you know, definitely other people, whether in the 3D or in other dimensions, are energies are coming in to help you to give this to you <laughs> yes you will you will receive you will receive what you need whatever that is this is the what is revealed is you receiving what you need but it's releasing this fear blockage here and moving into this space of receptivity, of gratitude, with three, that um, when you visualize what you want to uh, manifest, it's going into this emotion here of that thankfulness, that energy of that you got it, that you got the loan, that you found the right premises, that you're going into business with your friends, and that feeling, it's the f this feeling here, that is the golden ticket to your manifestation with the grapes here. Your manifestation is coming through and you will help it by releasing this blockage here, this fear and worry, and just forgiving that situation for not working out. 
as you thought it would was not the right time. Keep your heart open because you are, you are receiving what you need within the next few weeks or months. Pile number three, this is your reading. Thank you so very much for being here with me for this reading. I love having you here and I love doing these readings for you. If this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading.